Okay, awesome. So what we'll do today is we're gonna we're gonna go from beginning to end, like A to Z. We're gonna set up our Facebook business manager. Okay. So as I was mentioning on our call before, is that it's really there's really three ways to run an ad. One way is boosting a post. Never do that. Okay. Yeah, the exactly. first two ways you're never gonna want to do. Boosting a post is one way. Don't don't do that. And then, and then the second way is running your, your ads through your ads manager, which is what you pretty much ran here. Click on that drop down at the top, Heather O'Leary, the drop down. Um, so right here, this is the second way. This is your ads manager. So this is where this is where 99% of people run ads is through the ads manager. Um, that's the second way. The problem with this is the fact that there's no there's no ability to track anything. So 99% of Facebook ads is all about tracking. And so unfortunately, when you run it just through the ads manager, you're not able to track anything. All you're doing is running a cold ad every time. Right. Um, so the business manager is a third way. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to set up the business manager, which is going to look just like this. The ads manager, business manager, it looks just like this. We're going to come in here, click the green button, run an ad. It's the same exact thing, but the business manager just opens up all the other features that we need. The custom audiences, the custom conversion, the pixel, it allows all the tracking. That's the business manager. Yes. And so that's what we want to set up is, is the business manager. So when you start running ads, you run it from the business manager and now you're able to track all the activity. And again, that tracking is so important because you're able to leverage that for future ads. So if, if someone watches a video, I can, I can categorize that, create a custom audience and, and run another video to, to only those who watch that video. Or, or, or now that we'll have a pixel, we could put that pixel on a page and when people land on that page, we can categorize them and run an ad to them in the future. So the, the ability to track everything is the most important. That's the business manager. So that's what we'll do today is set that up. So it all starts with clicking the three lines and going to, into the business settings. Um, and the way we even got here is we went to your Facebook newsfeed and we clicked on ads manager on the left-hand side. That's yeah. how we got here. So now that so, we're here, go ahead. Well, what do we do about the fact that I have uh, Heather Morrison, you know, Tabby Realty, and that is the business Facebook page. Am I ahead of myself? Are you going to do that? Or how I want to make sure. Because um, the Heather O'Leary Morrison is not a business page. So does that matter? Well, it. I mean, I run it as my business page, but Facebook, you know, requires you like, oh, this is your business page. And that's where the tabby one came from. Mm -hmm. But most of my followers are they're on the personal page because couldn't remember you had a conversation about it. But um, like you can invite people to your business page, but then they don't. Most people engage, don't like it. they don't. Yeah, they don't yeah. accept it or they don't engage because they're just not in the area. OK, that, that's kind of the, what, what goes on. But okay. do you have so do you have an actual business page? I, yeah, it's labeled a business page. It's the yeah. um, we can always update it. Um, okay, as whatever long as you can. have one, then you're yeah. fine. And okay. if, if you didn't have one, we could just set one up. It takes a second. So okay. let's start with business settings. Let's see what's right here. Let's see if we even have a business. Set. Okay, perfect. So yes. this is exactly what, what you would see if you don't have one set up. So this is perfect. So this is literally going from A to Z. So let's click the blue one and we'll create an account. So we're, we're creating a business manager. And here at the top, we're going to go with the same name for everything. Um, you have your name, but then you have the, the business name at the top. So that's what I'm referring to. We're going to use that same name for, for everything as we go in and set this up. So pick that one name. What's that one name? And this is different than your social media platforms, or you can even use that name. It doesn't matter. But this is what you see internally. No one sees this part. Um, this is just naming your business account. Oh, can I just say Heather Morrison Realtor? Yeah, perfect. So that that name, Heather, Heather Morrison Realtor, is what we're going to use yes. to name everything else as we go in. So okay. after you come in and set up everything else, that's the name we're going with. And we can so, always, always change it, but yeah. but but yeah, leave it, leave it as is. And your name is is fine. Your name. You can just leave it, leave it like that. Okay. Now that's what I want to ask you. My personal page is Heather O'Leary Morrison. I'm okay changing it if I need to, but I did that because when I created Facebook page, I was married. Um, mm -hmm. and it was so long ago, I wanted like high school friends and stuff to be yeah. able to find me. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't go by Heather O'Leary Morrison. My name is Heather Morrison. So okay. let's take it out then let's change it on, on all ends. Okay. Um, change it here. You can even change it on the page. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and then, goodness. um, 
and your business. So yeah, so this email is super, super important. Okay. So as, as you submit this, uh -huh. check the email and, and, and verify it real quick. So go ahead and click the blue one, submit. Okay. And then let's check that email really quick. That's right. Okay. So confirm that that's super, super important. So now you can close out that other tab, meta business, close out that one. Let's work out of this okay. new one. Okay. Oh. Perfect. So hang on a minute. Hurt. Okay. Meta business. Yeah. I'm going to close, close out, out of that. that. Yes. I'm so we're going to close gonna out of this. Out. I don't want all these open or I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh. Yes. Close all that. Actually, you closed out the one we needed to work out of. So go ahead and confirm. Oh. Hit, hit confirm now. Click the blue one again. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. What? I don't even know what happened here. Is I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. Here Click we go. The blue button right here. Confirm. Okay. Okay, cool. So now let's work out of this, this tab here. Got it. So we're going to go top to bottom on the left-hand side. Okay. Yes. So we'll start with, we'll start with pages. Let's go to pages. Okay. Let's make sure that your page is connected. So here is where we'll just simply add your business page. Okay. So um, what you can do is you can, yeah, add a page. Yep. Let's just see okay. that we have, and just type in your name. You should see a drop down. Yeah. We'll always go with the drop down. Um, and this is the one you're referring to, right? The page that you yes. have, but you just haven't. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. So add page and that's going to give you instant access to it and close. And then what you're going to do is you're, yeah. So if you ever need to add people, whenever you see an add people to the right, yep. your name should be right there. And if your name's not there below, then add people and add yourself. Watch, go ahead and do it. You can still see the way it looks. Add people, click on add people oh. the button. Uh -huh. So when there's no name at the bottom, you'll just add yourself there. So you can go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and check the circle. And then to the very, very right, full control. So shade that gray to blue. Okay. Look, I remembered. Okay. Yes. Awesome. awesome. So that's okay, what so you would have done if you didn't see your name at the bottom already, but your name was already there. So you're good. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So now to the left, add accounts. And you know what, what we're going to do real quick too, yeah, um, yeah. click on, pay, click on people. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's create a folder at the top. So we're going to um, go to your bookmarks right here at the top. You have your Canva to the very, very right. Go into that white space um, to the left, to the left, right there in the white space, right click. Yes. Yeah. Right click. Oh, oh, how do you do? Or do you have a, do you are you on Mac? That? I'm yeah. How do I right click? <laughs> what you can do. I don't think you guys, have, I don't even know. I don't even think you have a right. -click. I don't think so, but, but let's okay. go to the very, very top and just do bookmarks and there then go. yeah, go to um, bookmarks. And you can either, you can either, um, actually, you know, to the very, very right, go to that update button to the very right and click on those three dots where you see. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then go, let's see if we have bookmarks. Yeah. Go to bookmarks from here. So okay. bookmarks. And then what we want to do is we want to, um, we want to, we want to uh, import, we want to set up a new, this folder is going to be FB business manager, FB business manager. Perfect. Okay. So now let's okay. put this folder somewhere where you're going to know where it's at. Um, maybe you can drag it to the top. Can you drag it up? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. See if you could just drag it up there and park it up there at the top. No, yeah. not, not up there in the bookmarks. So where all these bookmarks are, park it next to one of these bookmarks at the very top. You have all these bookmarks at the top. Transaction yeah. coordinator, all your designs. Oh yeah. That's where I tried putting it. Let me see. Yeah, so and it dropped into the darn. Um, okay. Yeah, Hang so on. Drag it up there. Yeah, park it. No, down, down a little in the white. Yeah, right there. Park it. Down. There we go. I see it. Did okay. that do it? Yeah, but it's just in the arrow to the right, and it's that's hidden. fine. So it's it's hidden over here. Okay, I got it. There. Okay. 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 Cool. So now let's go back to the business settings, and let's just simply bookmark. You can close this one. Close out this, this tab. One we can close out, right? So okay. Business manager. settings. Okay. Got it. So go ahead and start this one. Let's bookmark this page. This one is going to be business settings. So star that, add bookmark, um, name it business settings, and it's going to go in that folder. Awesome. Okay. Got it. Okay. You did that because I didn't see that part. You did that? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Um, hang on. It's all good. I just, that's just something I couldn't see for whatever reason. That's fine. As long as you know. I you was so quick. Um, <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Business, business settings. Awesome. Okay. Got so it. now the next one's going to be add accounts to the left. Yes. So let's set up a new ad account. This is okay. the, the new account that your credit card will be tied to. Um, this will be actually X out of this one. Oh. Yes. This will be where your ads, where you'll start running ads from, from this ad account. So okay. try giving yourself some more room. Scroll down on the left-hand side a little bit more. Just scroll down, scroll down on the left. 
yeah, just scroll down right there, right there. So yeah. click add accounts again and just see if, if like click on the blue one now, because there's, there's a third one down. Yeah. Click the blue button add. Uh, oh yes. Uh-huh. Okay. So see, so scroll. Yeah. See, it's not, there we go. Create a new yep. account. Perfect. Okay. So, so click on that one. And then here we're going to just simply, again, everything's going to be named the same. That's what I'm, I was referring to earlier is everything's going to be named the same Heather Morrison realtor. So we're going with the same name for, for all um, time zone. That's fine. Eastern yeah. and then next. Okay, cool. So my business, we're going to do it for my business and then create. Okay. Okay, cool. And then there's your name in the top left. Always check your name, always give yourself full control and then assign and then add payment info. So we're good there. So now bookmark this page as well. This is add account. So yeah, star this one, put this one. Oh, in. I can just star it. Okay. Yeah, hang on. Star it. Yep. So add bookmark. Add bookmark. Make sure it's in that name it. Add account. That's all it's named. Add account. So just delete anything that's there. Add account. Um, and in the future, if you ever need to reach out to Facebook, the first question they really want to want to know is what is your ad account ID number? Yeah. That number, right? And the 722. Right yeah, that's your ad account okay. ID number. Okay. Perfect. So so now we're good there. So yep. now data sources to the left, data sources, and then we're going to go pixels. And it then pick okay. add, and then this is going to be the same name. So everything is Heather Morrison Realtor. Take away the apostrophe S. Take yeah, I was going to say, did it? Okay. Yeah. So we just name everything the same. So okay. you can take away the word pixel as well. It's not needed. Oh, okay. You take away that and then just simply scroll down and click. Um, yeah. Continue. Okay, cool. And it, I'm not going to do check your website for. Whatever no, is. we're not going to do that yet because what you're okay. what you're going to eventually need is is you're going to need landing pages. You're oh, gonna that's right, the Facebook. landing page. Got it, got it. Yeah. Yep. So, Caitlin's kind of a step ahead. She she set up her fourteen day trial for for her landing pages. Okay. So she's able to connect everything, but here you can just you can do that later. Um, okay. But that's something you'll eventually need. So right here, just go ahead and click on set up the pixel. Now we'll just go through the actual setup and then manually add pixel code. Click on that one. And then there is your code. So that click the blue one. Yeah. Click the blue right there. Click. So yep. that is your, is your Facebook pixel. So that's what yep. goes onto a website. So Facebook can start tracking all the activity. So click on, um, scroll down, actually scroll down. Can you go a little further? Yeah. Make sure this is turned. So go ahead and turn that blue, turn that off and then turn it back on. So turn on and then all this. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now continue. And that is it. So once you do get, you can click cancel. Once you do get some type of, of landing pages up, then yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll connect the pixel. But see, so now here you don't see your name at the P on the under the people. So now you have to add. So add people. Oh, got it. Yep. Your name, and then manage pixel full control. Yeah, assign. Okay, perfect. And then done. And then what you also have to do is is add asset. So the pixel needs to also be integrated or connected to the ad account as well. So there you'll see your ad account. So right there, check the circle, add. And this is all a one-time thing. Like you don't have to come back to this. Yeah, and, thank God. Right? One -time all right. Thing, but all we're doing here is just connecting all the pieces. Like everything has, it's a yeah. puzzle and you, we just have to connect the damn thing. So so there, there's that. So the pixel's good. The ad account is good. Your business page is good. Um, now scroll down. Custom conversions is what we'll need eventually as well, but that's around your landing pages. So, so we'll need we'll need landing pages eventually. So that's good. And then brand safety. So we'll do that later. The converge custom conversion after. Oh, okay. So brand safety. This yeah. is where you connect the domain, but yeah. this domain is not a domain that you'd be using for your real estate website or any other website. This would be a domain that's strictly for your landing pages and strictly for Facebook advertising. So, so a lot of people will, will really, because here's the deal with Facebook ads with real estate. You can run an ad on, on a listing for sure. You can run an ad on an open house, like for sure, but chances are you may not need to like, especially in today's market, like everything's going so damn fast. So by the time you run an ad on a Facebook, on a listing, like that yeah. damn thing could be under contract already. I know. Right. Like, like, so what you really want to get in the habit of is, is, is focusing on one topic, either buyers or sellers, like who fires you up more, 
buyers or sellers? Um, look at me. Mm, sellers. Right? Sellers. So that's what your entire, so all of this, Heather, here's, here's how I want to really narrow in your focus and narrow in your energy. All of this should be based around Heather's seller guide. Heather should now be coming onto social media, whether it's a Facebook ad or whether it is an organic post. From this point on, the biggest advice I can give you is rather than posting content, and this applies for any platform, it applies if this is an ad or not an ad. It applies for every, con every, every piece of content you're going to put out on any freaking platform from this day forward. What your content should evolve around is tips on what it takes to sell. You're a listing agent. So our whole audience, our avatar is a homeowner, not a first-time buyer. I'm not going after FHA. I'm not going after any of these people. I'm going after homeowners. I'm educating them on what it takes to sell. That should be your content. Either I'm giving tips on what it takes to sell or, or I'm giving mistakes to avoid when you go to sell. Like people love to know mistakes to avoid. What to know before you hire a real estate agent? What to know before you list your home? right? So many different things you can educate people on either mistakes to avoid or tips on what it takes to sell or staging your home or all these different random things that apply to a homeowner. That is your, that is your avatar, the homeowner. So with that being said, now my content evolves around that, around educating homeowners on this, right? right. So now my whole call to action is to give away a seller guide. So as I'm educating that homeowner on what it takes to sell, hey guys, and by the way, I put together a 2022 seller's guide. In this free seller's guide, I'm gonna teach you this, 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 and this. So now as we put out content in a very non-aggressive educational way, we're right. also enticing people with an ethical bribe to click and download my stuff. Sure. That's how I'm capturing a lead. And you have, you said that you have some things set up for us when we do these landing pages thing. Yes, I have it all done for you. Yeah. All you gotta do is set up an account. Everyone has an, has their own landing page account, okay. which runs a hundred bucks a month. So yeah. you kind of only grab that when you're really like set to scale and we're really set to, to really roll out. Okay. Um, but even with, with, and what I mean by that is roll out with ads and really start to really, you know, run ads consistently, then the hundred bucks a month, you know, makes sense. Sure. Um, but it even applies for organic. That's what I'm trying to tell you over here as well. It even applies for organic as we're posting random stuff. I'm only posting for, for information for the homeowner and my ethical bribe is a seller's guide. So, so the domain that we would integrate over here would be, I would, I would, I would suggest for that, for your seller. Oh, guide. okay. Yeah. Cause Caitlin, she was trying to go into her GoDaddy. Yeah, yeah, she did. And and that's that's integrating the domain. So oh, that's what okay. we need to do. So we need to tell Facebook about the domain that we're running okay. ads to. So okay. all I was trying to explain with all of that was 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 that whatever domain you should connect here, yes, it'd probably be it'd probably be best to 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 pick one around a seller guide. Heather's seller guide.com or whatever, like like picking a domain that maybe evolves around around that because because that seller guide is the bait. When we're, when we're trying to capture leads, all we're doing is fishing. Like I need bait. Right. right. So if I'm fishing for leads, what is my bait? My bait is a free seller guide. That's what I'm getting people to click on to download. And so like, give me an example. Let me st stop sharing. Let me share my screen real quick. Okay. Now also, um, so, so unlike Caitlin's, I'm not sending that to the GoDaddy domain yeah, that I picked. Yeah. We oh, are. Yeah. yeah, we are. So, okay. so all I'm saying is whatever domain that we do do all that around, gotcha. I'm just giving you a suggestion here, maybe okay. base it around your seller guide, maybe base it around a seller guide. Okay. Got it. Right. And so, so go ahead, go ahead. Can that be changed? Like if we, if we did the, cause I remember going in and the, I don't know, was a DNR or DN something. DNS. Yeah. Your DNS. There setting. you go. Mm -hmm. And then you were going to copy that pixel in there. Yeah. Yep. Um, can that be like today? Should we do Heather Morrison realtor, which at this point just takes me to the, um, I already have it where it's set up where it's going to go to Tabby's site, but Tabby dot, you know, slash Heather Morrison, yeah. or whatever about me. Um, yeah. Is it okay to do that today? Since I don't 
I mean, I, I need to come up with whatever this landing page is, I guess. Right. Well, I already have the landing pages done for you. That that's the, oh. is that they're already done. Like all we got to do is go in here, change out the image, change out the headline, change the yellow button to your favorite color, change oh. the image to you. Like the sure. template is already done. Okay. So, so whether you. it's a seller guide, whether it's a, a listing, but, but I think what you're, what you're kind of hung up on or confused on or, or yeah. kind of get out is the domain. If yes. you have that domain going to tabby real yes. that website, then maybe yes. just leave it, leave it. And then that there's your, there's your professional image online there. There's the website, right? But okay. what we're going to integrate with Facebook is not that domain because that's not the domain you're running ads to. Okay. I got you. I understand. Right? Yes. So, okay. so the yeah. only domain that needs to connect with Facebook is, is a domain that you're running ads to. And that's this landing page, correct? To a landing page. Yes. Okay. And again, okay. the landing page, it could really be anything. It could be a listing. It could be an open house. It could be a seller guide. It could be anything, a buyer guide. A landing page can be whatever. This is just how I'm captioning the lead. And so in your case, it doesn't get any easier than offering a free PDF, a free download, a free tip, a free seven tips on, on how to increase the value of your home before selling, right? That's what you're leading with. That's the marketing. And does so this ever change? Like, yeah, you could change it whenever you want, but, oh, gotcha. but, but yeah, I mean, this is just a simple headline. This is just a simple template, right? 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Sure. So as I put out content, again, whether it's an ad or not, it doesn't matter what platform, it doesn't matter. As I put out content, I'm also trying to get people to click. Right. Hey guys, I put together a 2022 seller's guide that you're going to absolutely love, right? Click the link. It'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. So all I'm saying is that that simple little call to action at the end could be super effective when you're putting out content. And now you're talking to one person, you're talking to the homeowner. Right. And that's the thing about real estate is that a lot of times we're so overwhelmed with what the hell do we post next? Because there's so much shit to talk about. Right. Now I'm trying to narrow it in. You're only talking to the homeowner. Only put out content that, re that resonates to a homeowner. That's it. That's it. And, and the ethical bribe is I'm giving them a free download. Not only, not only did they get my tip for free on the free content on the free post that I put on LinkedIn or whatever, or wherever, yeah. but I'm also enticing them to click and download a free copy. And then are you, are you, um, you know, okay. So I get the landing page and I do this, um, you know, this particular guide, let's just say, mm -hmm. um, is that the one I run all the time or I can go into, there must be something in a back door or something that I can choose. Like, no, now I want to send out you know, like you said, the 10 mistakes mm -hmm. not to, you know, make or whatever, does that like change whatever that landing page is, or can you change the advertising that's happening on that landing? Yeah, page? it'd be the, it'd be that changing the advertising. Yes. It makes total sense. You would be changing up the, the, the advertising or the actual post. So, yeah. so your post over here, all I'm saying is that you're going to continue to post, you're going to continue to put out content. All I'm trying to say is narrow it in. And, yeah. and only put out content talking to the buyer. I mean, excuse okay. me, talking to the, to the okay. homeowner. Yeah. Talking to the homeowner. And then when that person clicks, then they can come over to a page where they can download a free copy of your seller guide. Yeah. That's it. So if anything wants to change, if all of a sudden we want to go after buyers and now we have a buyer guide, okay, well then let's just change the headline. Or if we want to just keep putting out different content, talking to the homeowner, okay, well then just change up your next post. Like you do, every post you put out is a different post anyways. Okay. But, but all I'm saying is that stick with one topic, you know, okay. stick, stick with, with, with posting regarding one thing. Okay. So how do we determine what the landing page address is or, or, or that yeah, is that it? Domain. Okay. Yeah. Right. The domain. How do we determine domain. what, I'm what sorry, domain yes. to mm -hmm. use? Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. That could be anything. It could be, it could be, it could be anything. Um, Really, it could, it could really be anything. It could be anything around the word seller guide. Like this one is, is socialagentmastery.com forward slash your free seller guide. Okay. So it could be, it could be anything really. Um, what did Caitlin do? She yeah. actually hasn't set up one yet. She, she got her fortune day trial started for the, for the landing pages. Oh, so wow. I was able to transfer over a funnel. I gave her my listing funnel. Um, okay. 
but she hasn't got an, a separate domain just for just for that just yet. Okay. So okay. No, I just yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess yeah, when you, I'm ready, you I have to come up with what that is. Well, whatever domain. Yeah, I mean that that's a go ahead and share your screen again. Let me let me stop sharing. Go ahead and share your screen. That doesn't need to be something you, you need to do right now. You okay. can think about it, but um, what's your other domain that you said you have? The one that's going to the Tabby real estate page? Heather Morrison Realtor.com. Yeah, see, so if you went with Heather Seller Guide.com, whatever, like something short and catchy with the word seller okay. guide in it could be could work. Sure. Heather Seller Guide.com or or download my seller guide now or tips okay. for homeowners.com or whatever, like something catchy, something short, that one domain is what you would integrate here because that's the domain that you're going to be running Facebook ads to. Am I buying that on GoDaddy? Yeah. You'd go to GoDaddy and just 10 bucks a year or whatever it may be. Sure. Okay. So I need to come up with that. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, and that's domains to the left. So we'll come back to the domains. Not, not important right now. So now scroll to the, to the bottom left. Let's go down to I believe it's business infos next. Yeah, let's go down to business info. So down, 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 all the way down. Um, business yeah. info right here. We'll click on edit in the top right. And we're going to connect your primary page, your business page to this specific account. We have, this is the business manager now, now that we're setting up. So we also want to connect the, the business page to, to the account as well. So there's that. Save. And then all this business details, fill that in. So let's fill in. Um, and for the legal name, it could just be the same, Heather Morrison Realtor. And then okay. just put in the address and put in all that good stuff. Hooray. Okay, perfect. So we're good there. So now, now let's get out of here. So that's the business settings. Let's get out of here now. Let's click the three lines and let's go to ads manager. So as we go to the ads manager, everything's going to be running through this new ad manager account, which is slash business manager. So you notice, click on no, you yeah. notice at the top, we now have Heather Morrison Realtor in the drop down. Yes. Before yes. we didn't click on see more ad accounts. So again, in the beginning, as I was trying to explain, one way is to boost a post. Don't ever do that. A second way is to run it through your ad account, which is the O'Leary one, your ads okay. manager. That's the second way. Don't do it out of that account. From this point on, you're running ads out of this business manager, Heather Morrison Realtor. This is the business manager. So mm -hmm. go ahead and, and star this one. Bookmark this one, hit the star, and name this one Ads Manager. It just it's just simply Ads Manager. So, yeah, take away all that. Just Ads Manager. That goes into that folder, and we're good. So, so all ads will come out of here. So now click the three lines, and let's go to, let's go to, um, let's go to, let's go to billing. Let's go to billing. Let me make sure you bookmark this. Click on Payment Settings in the top right. And then you can bookmark it from over here. Knowing what card is on file, knowing what you're running balances during the month is super, super important. This is billing. Name this one billing. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that's super important to know where you're at throughout the month. Um, now click the three lines again, and let's go to audiences. So as we move forward, and, and as you really dive into audiences, Right. I remember Facebook you talking ads. About that. Yes. This 99% of Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, 99% of online advertising is based on a custom audience. 99%, especially with Facebook. 99% of Facebook ads is all about custom audiences. Um, so click that first one, that first blue one, create a custom audience. Um, in the future, you'll be creating you'll be creating custom audiences around your landing pages. Around around website, around different web pages within your which in, within your sales funnel, within your landing page software, that's website. And then another another the second super popular custom audience that you'll start creating is video. So if you're into video, video is what you'll be creating custom audiences. Am I clicking about. these? Not website for now because we don't have any just yet. Okay. Um, video we don't have any yet. So right now we'll just do Facebook page, but we're going to do a very specific one. So okay. click next. And so here we're going to simply on the second drop down below events, click on that one. And we're going down to the fourth one. So people who engaged with any post or ad, okay. this is a, an audience that, that you can build around. And then, yeah, 30 days is fine. And then go to scroll that's what down, you said, right? Yeah. yeah, 30 days is enough. And then audience name, people name it the same as the event, people who engaged with any post or ad, this is your first custom audience. 
So as you put out ads in the future, anyone who, who engages with it, clicks like, comments, shares it or whatever, will right. be in this specific audience. So as you run ads, you'll always want to retarget this audience. Um, and this is what it's all about is retargeting these audiences. So once we've set up our pages, we'll definitely create more, more audiences for sure around, around, around website, which is the pages. Okay. So bookmark this one. This is custom audiences. Yeah. Custom audiences. And then let's click the three lines to the left and let's go to events manager. Now the events manager is where your custom conversion is at and also where your pixel is at. So right now the pixel, it's not on anything. Hit the drop down um, in the top right, that drop down and go actually where you see your name. I'm sorry, Heather. That's right. I need to move yeah. me again. Okay. Click that drop down and then uh -huh. go to the top account. Yep. There's the business one. Yeah. So um, bookmark it from here. So the pixel is not fully, fully set up just yet. Um, because we have to, we have to add it to a page, to a website, but this pixel? Now, pixel. Yeah. we'll come back and rebookmark it, but, but there's your pixel now click hover over the blue triangle to the left and let's, um, click on custom conversions, custom conversions. And uh, again, we'll rebookmark this now, but we'll eventually have to rebookmark it once we actually set up a custom conversion. So this one is custom conversion. And the custom conversion is also based around a web page as well. Okay. okay. So, so let's see what we have now in that folder. We should have, I believe we have all of them. So go to um, what you can oh, yeah. do. Hang on, it's on. over here. Yeah, I think right, right. There we go. Okay. Oh, business, business settings, settings ad account, ads manager, billing, custom audiences, pickle, custom, pick, pickle. I need <laughs> coffee. Oh my God. Pixel and custom conversion. Those are your top seven. That's okay. it. So as we move forward, um, we'll fill in the custom conversion. As we get the okay. web pages, we'll fill in the custom conversion. As we get the web pages, we'll fill in the pixel. As we get the web pages, we'll fill in the custom audience. As we get the web pages, we'll fill in the, the custom domain, the domain on the in the business settings. So you're you're definitely all set for now. Um, hey. That's the that's that's what I call your business manager setup and tutorial. Okay. So any questions? whatsoever on all that no i i'm like half dead asleep today but um that was no it's done i just yeah. was overwhelmed with it and really happy that you were so generous to um help us out so You're no so, i'm all so set good. for what our tuesday and thursday meeting and i guess yes. we'll go from there yes yeah, so our next our next call will be i believe it's tomorrow yeah it is tomorrow uh -huh. 3 p.m three yeah Tomorrow, I'm going to be walking everyone through. In fact, why don't you why don't you be be my my guest and and why don't you be the one that 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 I use as the example? We'll share your screen tomorrow. Sure. And we'll run a like ad. Watch. So go to your business page real quick. Go to your go to Facebook and just go to your business page. Oh, hey. yeah. Open up a new tab, or you can leave this page and just go to go just go to Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, and then click on your your business page to the left. So tomorrow, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up. So tomorrow will be our Facebook, our first Facebook ad. And so scroll down. It's going to be taking this like count. Oh, am I scrolling down here? Yeah. Scroll down. Yeah. So right now the page is currently at, yeah. Keep going. Keep. Oh going. yeah. What do I have? Um, keep going. You're at six. Well, is it six? Yeah. Keep going a little right here in the about keep going. Oh, 185. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to, I'm going to show you how to run a simple Facebook like ad to take the 185 that you currently have to 1800. And to do that, oh, yeah, like, look at that, 185. That's so stupid. Um, we'll, be at, <laughs> we'll be at 1800 in seven days. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Um, okay. But I would love nothing more to just sit and share this screen with you, but I'm going to have to sign in tomorrow, both days. I pick up my girls at school. Gotcha. Okay. You know, so I can't, but um, I'm no going to be calling in on my phone and then getting back at like 310 and I'll get onto my laptop. If you need me then, okay. I'm happy, but you're probably on your way at that point. So just to give you a heads up on that, I forgot. No worries. Awesome. We'll see where, where the first 10 minutes leads us and then we'll go from there. But okay. if anything, we can always, you know, schedule a one-on-one -on -one and I can help you that way as well. Okay. Well, thank you again. Yes, I really Heather. appreciate it. Um, you're so, so welcome. We're all set. Now tell me, where are you in California? I'm in San Diego, some oh. south. Yeah, I am. Okay. 
And I just moved from there. I lived in Coronado for two years. Before Are you serious? I yeah. I love Coronado. We're in Coronado all the time. Like I love Coronado. I'm about, <laughs> I'm about maybe 10 minutes south of Coronado. Yeah. Where, so where yeah. in San Diego? I'm in Bonita. Are you familiar yeah. with Bonita? Yep. I mean, I didn't go over there too often, but um, yeah, like Chula Vista know. area, Bonita. Yep. Yep. When you live on Coronado, um, you complain when you have to go across the bridge. Right. Right. I know. Right. <laughs> that becomes a chore. I know. And especially during right. COVID, uh, that was most of my time spent there. And so, um, yeah, oh, wow. you, you kind of like text everybody, Hey, I'm going over the bridge. Do you need anything? It's so <laughs> <Yeah>. ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, so funny. That's so funny. But I've been going there my whole life, man. I love Coronado. Like now I have two little babies and, and we're just taking them to the playground over there all the time. So it's really cool. Well, yeah, I did a ton of traveling over the bridge um, because I did yes. hikes and I swam with the leopard sharks when they oh, come wow. to La Jolla. And um, yeah, I had a phenomenal time and there just wasn't enough time and time Right. Time ran out. So anyway, I'm trying to get back there. Hopefully, maybe the first week of June or something. We'll see. Nice, nice. We'll stay in touch for sure. Okay. Well, you have a good evening, and we'll see you, you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Okay. Bye. -bye. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. You're bye. Welcome. bye, -bye.